Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're pushing ahead in Jurassic World Evolution 2, starting mission 2 of the campaign mode, where we're in Washington, recapturing animals who've been part of a dinosaur poaching ring and have now escaped. I wish we'd had more time to brief you, but as you know, the situation is fluid. Our Canadian friends are concerned that many of these wild animals are getting close to their border. We'd like to prevent them from crossing it. We being the CIA. My division is the DSD, Dangerous Species Division. I'm Dr. Dua. I have an extensive background in paleo research in this very field. At Jurassic World, and now, other locations I'm not at liberty to discuss. However, I have history with many of the people involved here. A poacher camp. What remains of it, anyway? Amateurs. They only succeeded in getting themselves and others killed. And making our job that much more difficult. Okay, so we've already got to start tranquilizing some dinos here. We'll just dive straight in. I can't believe I made that shot and that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, there, there would be a one that I missed eventually. And I think I missed two in a row there. And three. You're doing my job for me, mate. I'm going to get rid of these fences anyway, so... All good. Right, okay. We've got those guys tranquilised, and we will... Oops. Have a look at what we can do in terms of enclosures. We just demolish all of this stuff. We don't need it. With the construction of an arrival building, a control center, and also a backup generator to supply power. Kaba, stop giving me orders. I know what I'm doing here. God. Right, okay, that's all of those uh, first fences gone. Let's start removing all of the trees right up to the edge of our buildable area, just so I know what I'm working with. I don't normally do this, but we might as well have a clean slate to start with, eh? They've given us a crap load of money to work with. So. I assume it's not going to be a problem, a little bit of light deforestation. <laughs> right, okay, that's just about sorted and clear now that did cost a lot of money though get rid of the water is that water no it's dirt okay right then now let's build our first enclosure for these little guys we're gonna build it uh here i think and i'm gonna have a curve slightly around to here and then we'll go straight along here but we'll go uh, flat all the way up to the top there okay I think that's good we'll put a gate there and then what else do you want an arrival point our arrival point will go here Then our control center will go next to that. What can I hear? Is that us building or is that a dinosaur in the distance somewhere? I think this backup generator should cover enough to get power to both of those things. And then it's just a case of putting in the path. And we'll curve this one around so that it meets up with the control center. And then we should probably transport our dinos. Not bad if I do say so myself. And I guess I am, but we're also there we go. a response facility. Your response to this directive should be to get one built. And the response uh, facility. Okie dokie. <laughs> response, response. Uh, Did he make a joke? Response. It went over my head. I'm not a huge uh, Albert Finch fan, in case you hadn't worked that out. <laughs> so our response facility should be up and running now. We're getting these dinos into their habitat. We're probably going to need to build some sort of viewing gallery, which is why I've got this nice straight wall going all the way across. just makes things easier for us. 
need to get the dinosaurs and show the Carnotaurus are awake and safely enclosed. Yep, that's right. And we'll want them away. Now that they're in there, this looks like a pretty small habitat. Just playing in the snow there. Oh, that's cute. Right, um, enough, enough of that. Quit lollygagging. What do we need? Oh, I didn't want the viewing area. I need the response facility. Right, let's have our ranger team go check out what these guys need. And while that's happening, I'll put in our viewing gallery. And I think we'll pop it there. God, they're already on the car. Leave it alone. Okay, they need water. We can do that. We're going to do a small... Oh my god, the... Holy crap! Oh my word! No, I don't want direct control of that! <laughs> Bloody hell, that! <laughs> this was quite a... Um, a start, wasn't it? Jeez! Right, one tranquilized and the other tranquilized. Right, okay, let's uh, get these guys put back where they belong. Bloody hell. Right, they want prey. Let's put some prey in for them. <laughs> Feeder in place. Water. in place all the way around one side and they want sand so let's put loads of sand in Assets in the air. that was nightmarish like immediately breaking out causing absolute havoc <laughs> we'll just completely cover this in sand because I think they need a big area of it yeah there we go right okay open space they've got plenty I'll just give them absolutely loads of sand the prey is there they've got a social issue that's impacting their comfort they are lonely but that's because your mates still out there after you all escaped you absolute madmen Let's put some, um... Oh! What are you doing now? Sending me out? Search for signs of dangerous escaped dinosaur. Right, let's go. Oh, we're off this way. Whoa! <laughs> this looks promising. You know, not okay, let's move. Anything. Everything points in this direction. It's a dangerous carnival somewhere. I'm not the person to find it, based on the way that I'm controlling this car at all. Hit the tree. Oh, we went through the tree. Um, oh, self-writing, of course. Fantastic. That's what we want. <laughs> Especially when they've put me behind the wheel. Say what you want about the dinosaurs, but they're not subtle. Wherever they go, they leave a mark. Oh, there's a triceratops over there. Is it Dr. Malcolm? Because that guy Hello. is out there. Talk about an ego. Hmm, as opposed to... Well, you know, a certain lovable animal behaviorist whose humility has a charm. I just, I, whenever Owen talks, I completely tune out. I don't know why. I feel like we're getting close. Okay, yeah, so I, I would hope so. We've been driving for quite a while. 
Oh, I can hear something. There's another Triceratops over there. I'm guessing they don't want us to take them. Oh. Allosaurus. Oh, okay. There's a big guy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Owen. Owen, are you okay? What is happening? A little busy right now. Please tell me you have things under control. Oh, God, it's coming for the car. We've already dealt with this in the first episode anyway. We can, we can uh, escape these dinosaurs if they give us chase. It's fine. Oh, and we're into the helicopter. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? Did I get him? I don't know why I'm trying it. Did I get him? No. <laughs> why am I doing this? Long range quick scope. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god! Uh. I don't even know where I aimed that. Where's he going? I can't see, it's snowing, he's in the forest. He's right below us. There he is. Finally, wow. That took some time. Right, let's uh, start transporting him. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to be a bit naughty. I'm going to get back up to our... I'm going to transport him there. And then aim to have it, uh, the enclosure built before he gets back. And then we're going to do that, and we'll demolish this one. We will build a backup generator here, if we can, and or there. Herbivores? What about them? As long as they we'll stay build it here. Civilization, leave them in place. Ah, okay, that answers my question then. Right? Given time we'll to put adapt. another gate here. Yes, I'd say they will. I guess that's and I'm going to guess they're going to want us to put a research viewing gallery in, so we'll do that. Is that you talking, or is that the government? <laughs> and we'll put a curved path I in. Am the government. Cabot Finch is such an arrogant ass, isn't he? <laughs> right, let's have our response facility get ready to go out. And what I'm actually going to do is, I'm going to build our ranger post in here. And I'm going to put another one in there just to get us started and then we'll have this ranger team quickly go out and do a welfare check on them and then we'll assign them to these ranger posts okay right what do we got then how's this allosaurus looking it's got something wrong with it 
Okay. Oh, it's chasing us. Run away. Oh my god, he has just yeeted that. Jesus. I'm going to need a paleo medical facility. Right, okay. Assess the status of the dinosaur that they're bringing in. We'll need so to do a paleo medical will go there. I want to understand what went wrong if we're going to avoid an event like this in the future. And let's see what he needs to uh, just make himself a little bit happier. Water, he needs some prey. So we'll put in our live feeder again. Uh, we'll put it right here. And he wants forest and water. So our water, we'll put a small pond here. Just like a little shoreline of lake. I think that gets him up to where he needs to be. And then we'll put some forest in. Nice big forested area. He's breaking the fence. He's loose. He's loose. That's because I'm playing it with high speed and he's getting... Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Should not be playing this at... Why have I decided to take control of the chopper? Sometimes what a problem requires is a new set of eyes. Let's hire a few scientists Oof, to, got him. to diagnose these animals. Make In sure fact, this might be uh, fortuitous because I assume I'm going to need to uh, the dinosaurs. take I'm him. To see what we can discover. Let's get a new scientist. What do we need with welfare, yeah? Eight out of ten welfare. We love you. In you come. We've hired more scientists, per Dr. Dua. So we should have a better handle on the dinosaur's medical status. Hopefully we'll be able to figure out what went wrong. Hey, if I've learned anything, it's that these Oh, we need to um, get the mobile like, vet unit out. Well, well with, uh, then it's just there. Yeah. If you could just go and have a look at that one. Keep an eye on her. Right, right. Uh, who? Dr. Dua? Yes. She's working for the CIA. Right now we know she's got an injury. Nice to know I'm running a little intelligence off of She's right there. <laughs> looking out for the both of us. <laughs> That's worked out incredibly fortuitous for us, hasn't it? Right, okay, we'll get our welfare specialist working on that one. Perfect. Right. <laughs> Fantastic. Now that we have control of the dinosaur temporarily, let's get it transported to the paleo medical facility. Already doing it. That was quite a disaster, but hopefully. I like this though, it's very similar to Planet Zoo where you'd have to uh, get your vets involved and move an animal into quarantine and things, so that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously it was a little bit more stripped back in the first game, so quite nice to have something a little bit more expanded on. And the fact that we have to bring them in to this facility so that they can get this treatment and then we can transport them back into their enclosure which hasn't yet been repaired I knew there'd be something I'd forget to do let's uh, quickly get our ranger team out to get some rest preferably someplace comfortable always works for me same for the dinosaurs I'd imagine you imagine come on you've got to brace that chopper to get that repaired oh they did it excellent we want to have the animal right, so we need to ensure he's got 80% comfort. Comfortable in its enclosure, if you please. Currently only has 70%, so we need something to uh, improve it. Area. Is that because he needs a bigger enclosure? Oh, he's just he's forming his territory, so we might get lucky here. You've got a visitor. He's <laughs> just wandering around. I don't think you'll fit in the viewing gallery. You're just going to sleep right there on the path. What an odd little creature. Right, he's still forming his territory, so it may be because he needs to uh, have a little bit more sleep. He also needs more open space and more forest. Which kind of is making life a little difficult for us. He's back up. Let's see if he does anything. Okay, so... It's going up. Yeah. Okay, I think he's got it. I think we got it. 
he just needed to sleep off that hangover from the uh, the medication we'd given him. Yeah, he's at 90% comfort, so that's fine. That's all done. Our little dino visitor is still wandering around. He is definitely not paying an entry fee to get here. He's just like, yeah, I'm coming in. Deal with it. I'm surprised the Allosaurus didn't go for him, to be honest. He's literally just wandering around. They're running. <laughs> well, that's mission complete. We'd worked to make sure the dinosaurs would thrive in the forest. At first, I believed this was for the best. Then we realized that forest makes up about one-fifth of the total land mass in the U.S. and almost 40% of Canada's wilderness. Working together with the DFW and the CIA, we made the dinosaurs feel right at home. In the forest. <sighs> I really hope the powers that be know what they're doing. Because the dinosaurs definitely do. That was fun. That was good. Uh, nice to, to actually like get a drive out into the wild and, and find them. Uh, I hope that's something that they kind of like keep in. Obviously, don't overdo it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We're going to be moving on, continuing with the story mode in the next episode. I have noticed that there are only uh, like I'm at this will be 40 percent completion, I guess. So maybe there's only five missions in this story mode unless it expands and then we, we go on to something else or they add new content as the game progresses, as we know they did with the first one and they continue to do so with Planet Zoo. So we might get some more. Or if not, I guess the uh, story mode series will finish pretty quickly and we'll move on to something else. Uh, just let me know if you in the comments if you want me to do anything. I could do a sandbox. I don't really want to do a sandbox, so it would be more something like the challenge mode or the chaos theory modes, which I'd like to dive into at some point. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you drop me a like, a comment, and a subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video.